Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, um, again, let us continue our discussion. Still on multiple pipe systems. I think we're done. And we're tapos natin last na video. I think we're done with uh, number four. We are to solve number five. And <clears throat> these are the problems. Yeah, let's start to solve number five. I think number five is a problem um, in relation to uh, equivalent pipes or equivalent systems of pipes. Okay, let's start to solve number five. A 250 diameter pipe with a friction factor uh, equivalent to 0 0.15, uh, 150 meters long, is connected in series with another 200 mm diameter pipe with a friction factor is equivalent to 0 0.02. 200 meters long. Determine the diameter of the of an equivalent pi a single pipe of length 350 meters and F equivalent to 0 0.025 that could replace the two pipes. So this would be the illustration. The illustration natin. So we have uh, two pipes in in series, and we're going to change it to an equivalent pipe of the. The same length dun sa combined na ng dalawang. So 150, then we have 200. So if we have 350. So ito, gawin na lang natin na isang pipe. So what would be the diameter of the equivalent pipe? Na? Okay? So nito yung mga items na kailangan natin to solve the problem. Nasa figure na. Okay. So first, of course, is to establish the equations for discharge and head loss. So for for pipes to be equivalent, uh, we have uh, discussed before that they should have the same uh, discharge. Yung discharge na original pipe or system of pipes should be equal to the uh, discharge of the equivalent pipe. Which means that in this case, that is equivalent to Q1 equal to sa Q2 and let's say Q na lang equivalent siya sa discharge ng entire system. Next, next is that they should have the same head loss. For pipes to be equivalent, um, the, the head losses would be uh, the same also. So, since uh, pipes 1 and 2 are in, uh, in series, which means that HF1 plus HF2 is equal to the head loss of the third pipe Let's say HFE. Okay? So this would be our working equations for this particular problem. So since they all have the same discharge, let's just denote it to be Q na lang. For QE, Q for Q1, and Q for Q2. And then we're going to use this equation to solve for the missing diameter or the equivalent diameter of the equivalent pipe. So let's start with this uh, equation. So let's try to expand HF1, HF1 using Darcy Ways back. That is equal to, we have 0 0.0826, F of pipe 1 is 0 0.015. Length of pipe 1 is 150 meters times Q1. Uh, Q1 is also Q, so squared all over D raised to 5 D. Uh, 1 is 250 or is 0.25 raised to 5 plus HF2 what is HF2? we have 0.0826F of the second pipe is 0 0.02 times length of the second pipe is 200 meters so have 200 times Q2 Q2 is also equal to Q so let's just say that is Q squared over D2 which is 200mm and 0 0.2 raised to 5 and that should be equivalent to remember these are we are equating the head losses here HFE the head loss of the new pipe or the equivalent pipe it's, it's not necessarily new <laughs> but the equivalent pipe that's equal to um, so given it, so 0 0.0826 F of the second pipe, or the, the, the equivalent pipe is 0 0.025, length is 350, uh, okay, times, I'm sorry, um, Q2, 
QE, the, equival the discharge of the equivalent uh, pipe should be equal to Q. No? So Q squared all over D raised to 5, which is D uh, missing. So let's say D sub E no? raised to 5. So we have one unknown in the equation, which is the diameter of the equivalent pipe. So the diameter of the equivalent pipe is equivalent to 0 0.23 of a meter or it is equivalent to 230 mm. So this would be the answer for problem number 5. So go lang. Uh, when we apply the concept of equivalent pipes, we just uh, we, we simply uh, equate the discharges and uh, the discharge of the, the original pipe should be equal to the discharge of the the equivalent pipe and the discharge the head loss of the previous or the old pipe is should be equal to the head loss of the, the equivalent pipe so that's the concept behind it okay so that is problem number five let's proceed to problem number six what is problem number six Okay, problem number six. Where is problem number six? A 150 diameter pipe with a given friction factor, uh, 600 meters long, is in parallel, parallel with a 200 mm diameter pipe with friction factor 0 0.025, 750 meters long. Determine the diameter of an equivalent single pipe of length 750 meters and friction factor 0 0.015 that could replace the two pipes so we have a parallel system here we're going to replace this parallel system into an equivalent uh, uh, pipe na lang isang, isang pipe na lang okay so again we're going to apply the same principle that the discharge of the the old piping system is equivalent to the discharge of the new piping system or equivalent pipe which is in this case since uh, the two pipes are parallel that means that the discharge of the entire system here in this uh, the first system is equal to q1 plus q2 so the discharge of the equivalent pipe should should uh, be able to accommodate the sum of the discharges of these two pipes Next is the head loss. So the head loss of the equivalent pipe should be equal to the head loss since the two pipes are parallel. Ito ay parallel. And uh, the head loss from A to B. So head loss from A to B should be equal to the head loss of from A to B. It should be equal to the head loss in pipe 1 equal din yan sa head loss sa my pipe 2. Okay, so that's it. So this would be our working equation for this particular problem. Medyo mahangin. <laughs> I am taking this video outside. Okay, right. so that's it. So let's solve first for the head loss. In pipe 1 in terms of Q1 okay, since wala namang sinabi na discharge we can express it in terms of Q1 we're going to use this particular uh, equation so we have HF HF HF1 is HF1 is equal to 0 0.0826 F1 is 0 0.02 length is 600 and then Q1 squared all over D raised to 5 D1 is 150 raised to 5 so if we if we now solve since we have the same this uh, this uh, head losses we can solve for the equivalent diameter by using this equation you know? so we need we, we just need to express <laughs> express each head loss in terms of the discharges 
since iba uh, iba yung discharge sa pipe 1 iba yung discharge sa pipe 2 okay and q1 plus q2 is equal to q3d we can uh, express muna yung head loss in terms of q and then we can express q in terms of the head loss or if you can i think we can directly express q in terms of the head loss but just just to uh for the sake of discussion we are going to do it okay so q1 then so if you try to manipulate the equation q1 is equal to the square root of mag cross 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 multiply lang tayo just like the old times in algebra oh I'm sorry that's not a straight line q1 is equal to 0 0.15 raised to 5 hf let's say since they are this they have the same head losses let's say sabi na lang natin na hf yan okay pare pare sa lang sila ng head losses and then we divide natin since we have cross multiplied yeah, uh, 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 uh. 0 0.0826 F is 0 0.02 times the length which is, which is 600. So this is Q1. Because I squared yung Q1, so we have to extract the root. So Q1 is equal to the square root of this entire quantity. Okay. Then later on, we're going to use this formula or equation to solve for the diameter. Next, uh, express naman natin yung HF2 in terms of Q2. So HF2, similar, quite similar to H of 1. 0 0.0826 F2 is 0 0.025. Length of pipe 2 is 750. Uh, Q2 squared all over D2 which is 0 0.2 raised to 5 and then uh, cross multiply manipulate the equation so we have an expression of Q2 in terms of HF2 so we have the square root of, of 0 0.2 raised to 5 HF HF2 here is also equal to HF so since they all have the same head losses divided by F2 is 0 0.025 the length is 70 okay okay that's it just so that's it then we can also express HFE in terms of HF, well, in terms of QE, and then later on QE in terms of HFE. So we have HF E. So HFE is equal to 0 0.0826. Zero point zero one five. The length of the equivalent pipe is seven fifty. No, sorry. Q E squared all over D E, which is unknown. So D E raised to five. Okay, and then we can now express Q E in terms of H F E. So Q E is simply equal to. I hope that is still visible. The square root of we have DE raised to 5 times HFE, which is also equal to HF divided by uh, FE is 0 0.015. The length of FE is 750. Uh, meters so this would be the discharges in terms of the 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 head loss okay then we're going to use this uh, formula to solve for the uh, equivalent diameter d so let's try to move to another page So 
we know that Q1 plus Q2 is, should be equal to the QE. We have established this equation before. So, yun lang. Substitute lang natin yung values ng Q1, Q2, and QE in terms of their uh, head losses. Okay. So, Q1 is equal to the square root of divided by 0 0.0826 F1 0 0.02 times the length of pipe 1, okay? Plus, square root of, so Q2 in terms of HF, 0 0.2 raised to 5 times HF, divided by, Okay, that should be equal to QE in terms of head loss again. So we have D ra DE raised to 5 times HF divided by FE is 5 times the length of this 750. So, since common naman yung HF dito, cancel, cancel na yung mga HF na yan. And then, we're left with the one unknown in the equation, and that is DE. So, DE is equal to, what is DE? Um, 218, 0.218, meters so that's equivalent to 218.41 millimeters so this is the equivalent diameter of the pipe so from parallel pipes convert natin siya sa isang pipe na lang and this, should, this is the equivalent uh, size or diameter of the equivalent pipe okay so that's that's it that's equivalent pipes okay um so we're, we're done with series parallel connections. Next is, uh, we'll have a next topic. We'll have our next topic, uh, three reservoir problems or reservoir problems in a separate video. Okay, so see you in the next.